the supplies that you will need for making your own beetle amulet. You will need the beetle amulet worksheet, glue, scissors, coloring supplies or painting, and there's optional, you can use cardboard, you will need string, and you can also use tin foil, but this is also optional. To get started, you'll want to grab your beetle parts and your amulet parts, and we are going to color the beetle body parts and the jewels just like that and cut them out with a pair of scissors. I also wanted to see what a beetle looked like if I decided to paint it instead of color it with markers, and so what I did is I glued all the ovals together before I painted because I felt like it would make it easier, and then chose what paints I wanted to use and just painted it with those. And there we go, and I had to let it dry. It took a little bit longer than the markers, but I think it looks great. And here are all my beetle parts that I decided to color with pen that are cut out along with the jewels. And now we are working on the amulet base. I decided to use cardboard for my amulet base because it makes it a little stiffer. And so I just put glue on the back of the amulet base that I cut out and stuck it to the cardboard so I got the right shape. And there it is. You can also use pens to color it. That's totally fine. And I also wanted to cover mine in tin foil. Tin foil has two sides to it, so make sure you choose the size side that you want. One is a little duller, one is a little more shiny. And I made a snip right down the middle so that the tin foil would fit around the rounded edges really easily. And I just used a bit of glue to stick it down so it wouldn't move. For this next part, grab all your oval bug pieces and fold them in half with the colored side facing inwards so that you have the white on the outside. And then you're going to take a glue stick and just run a little bit of glue along one side and stick it to another oval that you have folded in half just like that. And do that to all of your oval pieces so that they form almost like a fan. They kind of remind me of our accordion books. I don't know why. And there we go. That's what it looks like all together. Make sure you let it dry so that it doesn't slide around. Next, grab all of your colored beetle parts and glue them to the body. So I glued the head first, and then I chose to put the short stubby legs up by his head as his arms, and then I decided that I wanted the longest legs on the bottom so he could walk around, and then I put the shortest legs in the middle because I feel like those would be the ones he would use to hold a cup of tea or something, and so I didn't think they had to be that long. And once you have them glued, let it dry so that they don't fall off. I know it's you have to be patient. And then glue your bug onto the your amulet wherever you would like it. I chose to glue it onto the middle. And then you can add your jewels. You can add as many or as little as you would like. I decided to add all of them because I like a bit more of a flashy amulet that I can show off. So here is my amulet with all the jewels. For this last step, you'll want to grab a piece of string and measure it out so that it hangs on your neck where you want your amulet to be. This string that I chose was a little bit too stiff. I'd recommend a more bendable string. And then punch two holes in your amulet where you want your string to go and tie them in a knot so that they do not slip off of your amulet because it is very precious. You spent lots of time on it. And so I just tied it around but you could also tie it however you would like, however you feel comfortable with. This is how I decided to do it. And then once you finish this, your amulet is finished and ready to show off to whoever you want. Here is my other amulet all finished, and this is how I put the string through a different way, just in case you didn't like the other way of doing it, because then you only have one knot on your amulet string, just like that. And I also switched out the string for something that was a little bit more flexible and softer. And here are both of my amulets. I think they both look pretty great. I would love to see what you decided to do. Thank you so much for joining us for this bonus case.